good morning as I weigh goodbye to November 2013. It's the 30th, it's a Saturday. It's 0650 Greenwich Mean Time. The moon is out, it's cold but not frosty, and the wind has dropped. Gonna have another crack at the uh, Black Cock Inn today. Hopefully it'll be open. Meeting up with some colleagues. Gonna have a haircut, some coffee, some beers, fine ales, etc. And this football. Everyone have a nice day. Because tomorrow is December and there's that Christmassy thing coming along. Which of course I'm against. I'm against happy things. Because I'm a miserable, very miserable person. Thank you. Oh look, a Christmas decoration. Let's tell Chappers about that one. He loves those Christmas decorations. And the latest petroleum prices. 28.9 a litre for unleaded city diesel. Oh, I feel it's a town. Anyway, I need some coffee. And even more Christmassy stuff. I need some coffee to get rid of all this festive food. Yay. Well, I think. Great news. Costa Coffee's coffee machine is broken. Uh, let's hope it's not the harbinger of things to come. This is one of those weeks. Uh, there's not a great deal else open at this time of day. Let's hope my haircut works. Wandered around to Philly. It's quite good in the morning. And there's a barber's pole. So close. Clive did me here. Adrian came in later. Adrian's got a girlfriend. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, we're back on track. Maybe a coffee in here as well. For the festive decks. I get told off for being festive. Christmas. Christmas coffee. Christmas ale. Steam sleigh. RCH Brewery 3.8% alcohol by volume. One pound and ninety-nine of your new pets. Which is good. Weather fine. Still chilly, but dry. No frost. Hmm. Not the strongest of beers. But the first of the day is very drinkable. And a nice bitter finish. D plus. Number two. And this is Welsh. This is South Walian. This is from the Vale of Glamorgan Brewing. This is Holidays, spelt Holly, D A Z E. Five point four percent alcohol by volume. Lovely, lovely head. Dark beer. Uh, let's see if I can find any pictures of um, you are tinsel. This might be the keyframe. Big taste. Big complex. Full flavoured, but a bit, could do a little bit more body. And the finishes, I don't know what the hell the finish is, but it's festive. I don't know if that would be a session ale, but for Christmas, I'll give it a B. Plus. Um, hashtag jingle. Number three, this is, he says, Ellen Brewery, which suggests to me that it's from Leeds, but it isn't. This is 6.5% alcohol by volume, brewed by Thwaites, 
so a strange licensing deal, um, but it's badged weather spoons. Uh, more tinsel. Mm. If you like porters, you like that. I'm not a great porter fan, but that's a B plus. Later in the black cock, a tiny rebel pub. Celt experience, golden ale, 4.2% alcohol by volume. Young colleague tapping away on the internet. Someone who flirts with Mr. Sharpers. Flirter. Someone who flirts with Mr. Sharpers' husband. Sharpers, what a naughty boy you are. Anyway, did I say what the beer was? Did I? I can't remember. Yes, you've given it a score. All oh, right, I haven't given it a score yet. Someone's drinking wine round here. Tested beers. Anyway, um, Mark Manning, no carpet. Ooh. Ah. Road in Caffilly, wonderfully Caffilly, B. Hats off. Uh, we're still in the Black Cock Inn. And the, what you're looking at at the moment is the remains of oh, some wonderful desserts. Anyway, over here, Tiny Rebel, Hadouken. If you know your games, you know where that name comes from. 7.4% alcohol by volume. A wonderful IPA. Oh, and we, oh, Ram, and we got a text from Big Carl saying Ramsey's just scored. <laughs> Conclusive evidence, uh, Mr. Manning. Uh, desserts. Oh, oh, that's B. If you like a strong, and I mean a strong IPA, this is a thing for you. 